At 20 paces, it's Adam Ninja Buster Savage. Up against his arch enemy, the Orange Avenger. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Okay, you ready? String. I got the knock on the string, but man, Ninja I'm got to me. On this. Yeah. Thank I, you, my friend. <laughs> well, look, I practiced, and my arrow shooting got pretty quick. I was able to fire two shots in just under three seconds, and that didn't even come close to helping me survive the Ninja. Not only did he cut my arrow in half, but I was cut down. In my prime. Adam was toast. Although I have to say this was a close combat situation, and if Adam was over 100 feet away, there might be a different outcome. And the final score, Ninja 3, Adam's Pride, 0. So the fans say ninjas can catch arrows. How are we going to call this one? I have an idea about how to answer all the complaints we're going to get from the fans. I'm going to role play as the fans and have a conversation with you as you. Okay, I can do that. Okay. <sighs> Dude, he totally caught the arrow, even under your impossible battle conditions. Once he saw the archer raise his bow, whoop, he was able to grab that arrow. Yeah, well, corpses can't catch arrows. He'd been dead 20 times before that. Yes, but think of all the arrows he avoided before then, too. And under battle conditions, the archers might not be drawing to full strength, and things might be deflecting off walls and stuff like that. He'd still be dead by then. But remember the mano a mano when Adam shot the arrow at him and he was able to slice it out of the air with his sword? Dead. Okay. <laughs> Can't do this anymore. The myth is that a ninja could pluck an arrow, he has no idea where it's coming from, sense it coming, and reach out and pluck an arrow out of the air. Our ninja is arguably the best in the world at catching arrows, and he couldn't do that. If we had removed the rubber tips from arrows, we'd have one dead ninja on our hands. I say busted. It's busted. <laughs> Get ready for some hate mail. 